Hi everyone and welcome to Math Sucks. This video is going to help you pass algebra. In this video we're going to use the discriminant to determine the number of solutions of a quadratic equation. First by going over what the discriminant is and what it tells us. Then we're going to go over on how to use it and how to use the formula. Finally we'll look at an example and then you can try the practice questions at the end of this video. So what is the discriminant? It is a formula we can use, so this might look familiar, it's a part of the quadratic formula b squared minus 4ac, so that, that's the part of the formula that's under that radical. And when we plug um, the coefficients of a quadratic equation into this formula for a, b, and c, that value, depending on what it is, can tell us the number of solutions a quadratic equation has and the nature of the roots of the solution. And by nature, we mean are the solutions rational, irrational, or imaginary. So we could find out all this information from finding the discriminant of any and every quadratic equation. So how does it work? Depending on what value you get from the discriminant, there's gonna be different outcomes that we could tell about the solution. So for example, if the discriminant is negative or less than zero, then we're gonna have two imaginary solutions or two non-real solutions. So on the graph, that would translate to no x-intercepts. So it's just kind of like this floating parabola where there are no x-intercepts. Another scenario is if the discriminant is equal to zero. So that means there's one real and rational solution, which translates on the graph as just being one point on the graph. So one solution that where the graph hits the x-axis, where it's gonna be real and rational. And now when the discriminant value is positive, there are two different uh, ways we can look at this. If the discriminant is a perfect square, then we're gonna have two real and rational solutions and it'll hit the x-axis at two points and another scenario we might have is if the discriminant is greater than zero is positive but it is not a perfect square and we will have two real and irrational solutions again it would just it would be the same picture again we would have two x-intercepts two solutions where the graph hits the x-axis so this is the chart we want to keep in mind when we look at an example so if we look at our example find the discriminant number of solutions and nature of the roots of the following quadratic equation and then we have our equation y equals x squared plus 14x plus 40. so right away i'm going to want to write out the discriminant formula b squared minus 4ac and just a reminder of how we get the values for these, we're just going to find these on our equation here, the coefficients a, b, and c. So a is always right here. So remember, we're getting these based off of the quadratic equation ax squared plus bx plus c. So a is here, which is equal to 1. So whenever there's no number next to a variable like this, it's just going to be 1. b is 14. And c is 40. So now that we clearly know uh, our a, b's, and c's of this quadratic equation, let's plug it into our discriminant formula and see what we get. So we get b squared, which is 14 squared, 4 minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 40. So 14 squared is equal to 196, but minus 4 times 1 times 40, 4 times 1 times 40, this is going to be 160 and 196 minus 160 is going to be 36. So we have our discriminant answer. So this is the value of our discriminant. But the question didn't want to just know the value of the discriminant. It also wants us to analyze the discriminant and tell us how many solutions we're going to get based on this number. So if we look back at our chart, if we look under so this is a, our chart, we have the number 36. We know this is a positive number, so we're gonna be looking here. And now we have to ask ourselves, is this a perfect square or not? It is, radical 36 is six perfectly. So we wanna look right here. What is our answer? It is two real rational solutions. So that's what exactly we're gonna get. So we're gonna have two real. And that's our answer. So we found that we're gonna get two real solutions and the nature of the solutions is that they're both gonna be rational. And that's our answer. So if you're looking for more, check out the practice questions right here. The answers are up in my blog, mathsucks.org, and in the description below. And if this video helped you, please give it a like and subscribe. Thanks so much for stopping by and happy calculating.
Need more practice? Check out MathSucks.org for more questions. Link below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Happy calculating!